I did some damage at Aritzia, which wasn't supposed to happen. Good morning. I just woke up, brushed my teeth, and I'm about to wash my face. Okay, so I just washed my face with this Pure Herb Gentle Cleansing Milk. I don't know. I got it from an esthetician that my cousin recommended. Technically working right now, working from home. But I don't have too much going on. So I thought I'd film a day in my life. If anyone cares, probably no one. Next, I go in with and Zeke, which is just a, I guess, topical antibiotic, and it comes out like this, like a foam. Okay, drunk elephant. This was really expensive, but other vitamin C products that I've used break me out, and this has it. Yeah, we could get away and never... Next. Moisturizer. And I have a tip. If you have long nails, I keep this sideways in my drawer so that I can just scoop it out like that and it doesn't get under my nails. I know some people do like the other side of their nail, but I just don't like the texture of that. So, yeah, keep it sideways in your drawer, and then you don't have to dig in there. Next, I go in with the, this is so good. Okay, for breakfast, we're having turkey bacon, avocado toast, and eggs. sprayer and you like pump it to get air in it and then it sprays and you can just put all the in there so have these reusable ziploc bags say good morning <laughs> okay all right and we keep pious food in this little chamber thingy vault food vault a little less than a cup into his little bowl. Does uh does your boyfriend just literally watch socks all day, every day on the big screen? And then also on his own screen. Ooh. Are you hungry? There's some food for you. There's some food for you. Oh, we gotta do your eye drops because you got some eye boogies. We gotta do your eye drops today. Pagano's actually doing really well right now. It's keeping up while everything else is down. That's breakfast. <laughs> that's why it's, I, I, it's a really like it's a it's the native ethereum classic it, it's literally the native one but a lot of people don't like it it's not popular i didn't like it we got this new ikea dresser so we're filling it up I have my sports bras in here bikinis all my leggings long sleeves Biker shorts, cotton type workout stuff. And then this one, pretty empty, but just some like normal people clothes, like leather leggings and some jeans. And these are Mike's drawers. What do you got in here? Shirts, looks like. 
looks like we got shorts in this one. Just vacuumed the windowsills. And I also just organized my bathroom toiletries with some of these organizers. Now I'm going to probably put a little laundry in. Laundry's overflowing. Going to, I use this to clean the toilet, do the refills. Um, gonna clean and wipe everything down and then probably vacuum again. So that's it, just cleaning. Not too much going on. Okay, getting ready to go to the gym. This is the gym fit. Just a white dry fit and shorts. And I'm gonna put sneakers on. Okay, actually, I changed into this t-shirt. Wearing this. Let's go. I think I'm taking him out, but we have to go take the recycling from the Ikea boxes first. And then I got these plates. Put on my car. Hello, it's the next day. I totally forgot to pick up my camera yesterday after the gym but i worked out and then got shake shack and what else what else what else just been working i'm about to clock out did some laundry now i'm gonna do my makeup and then we're gonna go to the plant store to buy a plant and then probably go to lowe's to hang it up so i want to put a plant in that corner and have it hang and then i'll probably get hooks put them here and put my purses up there and i just did laundry let me show you guys what I got from Chewy yesterday when I ordered it. The other day, I got these American Journey oven baked peanut butter treats. Also got these little training bits and these puppy bites also for training. Just wanted small treats to bring on walks. And then also got these eight in one vitamins. And then I got a huge tub of these freeze-dried beef liver. And I think someone heard me. I know something's drool. You want to cheat? Yeah. Okay, sit. Okay, bye. I can do my makeup because it's Friday and I haven't done my makeup in a long time. And we're gonna go to the plant store and I'll probably go to Lowe's and try and get a plant, like I mentioned, to hang and just make our apartment look cuter. We were thinking about trying to find a tutu and move somewhere 
with a little bit more space, but we're probably just gonna stay here another year. And the reason why we didn't like, well, yeah, we didn't really decorate at first because we just thought like, oh, we're gonna move into a bigger place next year. But with like a prices going up so much in Austin, we are gonna stay here. So just figured I'd spend the time and money to actually make our place look really cute. Um, a few weekends ago, I had a friend visit and she wasn't visiting me necessarily. She was visiting her brother who lives up in Colleen because he's in the military. But she came down to Austin for the day and well, she ended up staying longer because yeah, it was a whole thing. They missed their flight and stuff, but that's besides the point. We, um, we went on the Lime scooters that, you know, the like electric scooters and they have one called Wheels which is like electric bikes and you don't have to pedal. And we were when we were riding up South Congress, which if you live in Austin, you know that South Congress is like this massive hill. And then we were going down and when we were going down the hill, I caught a lot of speed and I wasn't even like using the, the power. Like I didn't, I was just like full speed from the momentum of the hill and I hit a pothole and I felt my bike shaking a little bit and then I just hit a bigger pothole and I went flying down South Congress, literally felt myself catch air, skid down the pavement. I was wearing these this new set from Wild Fox or White Fox and it literally ripped a hole in my biker shorts. I have this like, it's all healed up now and I have a little cut on my side still but oh my gosh I was literally had the worst road burn I was in the worst pain the next day the day of I was cut fine like we were kind of drinking so I was like it kind of masked that it masked the pain that I was actually in um but the next day I was in so much pain it felt like a burn and yeah, definitely not getting on any of those ever again. And it's funny because my coworker from my old job literally said that she's not a fan of the Lime scooters because she's hit a pothole before and gotten a black eye because she fell off and went flying face forward too. Basically like what happened to me and I had a gut feeling that was gonna happen to like one of us. There was, how many of us? There was like six of us total and I was like, honestly it was bound to happen to one of us, but. Yeah, that was not fun, but it was fun while my friend was visiting, my friend Diana. Shout out if you're watching this. Probably not, you're not watching this because no one watches my videos, but I'm using the Halo, uh, Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer. I got this um, like silicone infused beauty blender, which I've noticed that when I use like my Fenty foundation that it doesn't blend at all, like well at all. So this tinted moisturizer, I didn't like when I used like a regular sponge, but I actually really like it when I use this silicone sponge. So I think I want, I've never had a foundation brush and I kind of want to try just like actually having a real foundation brush, but I don't know, I just haven't gotten around to buying one yet. It's definitely not a priority in the things that I want to spend my money on right now but yeah so I'm just gonna blend this in and I really like it because um I just feel like I don't really need full coverage because we're still wearing masks and not doing anything fancy just gonna go buy some plants so I think it's a really good everyday thing it gives me a little bit coverage and my skin still looks like skin. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best for covering up any like acne scars or anything. It's just a good, makes your skin tone look. Any barbs out there? Just kidding. I mean, I really don't list, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a barb because I know there's like diehard Nikki fans, but she, her, her new album came out today that best I ever had remix though. I actually had, didn't listen to the whole thing yet, but I was listening to it while I was working. And then I just did not finish listening to it. I feel like I want to keep building this up to 
cover all that up, but I'm gonna be wearing a mask. So it, honestly, it's fine. But this definitely gets on a lot more product and it doesn't actually like absorb the product. And I bought like cheap sponges from TJ Maxx. It literally came in like a glass jar and there was like a bunch of them. So those were just like really cheap. I'm probably gonna go back to like Physicians Formula sponges after this. Just cause this was 20 bucks. And I don't really wanna pay $20 for a sponge. Or maybe I should just invest in a foundation brush. That's actually the most sustainable and I can reuse it. it saves me money. Alright. That should be good. Next, I'm gonna go in with this. Also, my makeup is just in like a travel bag because I just don't do my makeup every day and I like doing it out here and not in my bathroom because my bathroom has really bad lighting and the I have like two huge windows out here so I just like doing my makeup out here and I feel like it's just easier if my makeup is in a travel bag because I can just bring it from the bathroom out here. So just using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is the first time I've ever, this is the first one I've bought ever. It's just like a mini one and yeah, I just have a mini because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I've always used just like a drugstore concealer, but I just wanna give this one a try, I guess. I'm just gonna blend this in with my finger. I normally have like a mini sponge that I use. I actually don't know what that is. I just like bought this new stuff from Sephora that I ordered during the sale and I just have them in boxes still because I think I've only used them once and I don't know sometimes I get sometimes I want to return it and want to try it first so I want to try it a couple times first before I throw the box away because sometimes I end up returning it but look at this packaging it's like limited edition I don't even know if this is focused. Ew, I don't want to do the, the like YouTuber thing, but is that focused? But yeah, it's cute. It's like the Kat Von D contour. And then I just have these. Um, one is a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush. This one is the JH10, and it's just like looks like that. Pointed edge, angled edge, and then I blend it out with the Morphe M436. Um, so yeah, and I just use this with the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. <laughs> waterproof mascara and the reason I got waterproof is because if you have sh really straight lashes they won't stay up unless you get waterproof mascara but I also like look how thick this freaking brush is I don't know I don't really like it I don't really like the formula I feel, maybe because it's waterproof but I feel like everyone raves about this mascara I think it's all right am I gonna keep it I don't know maybe I'll bring them Maybe I'll bring, well, the plant store that I want to go to is at the Domain. There's another plant store that I want to go to, but it's like a bit further south and I just feel like the Domain is right there. And I don't, like, 
Bro, this shit is so clumpy, oh my god. Ew, it literally looks so clumpy. Like, is it supposed to do that? What? Like my, ew. They, okay, this looks so bad. Do I have other mascara? No, I threw out my other mascara because I was like, oh, I just got this. I don't need my old one. Like, what? It literally is so clumpy, bro. Oh, no. Nah, I'm about to return this shit. I just feel like there's... I don't know. It looks so bad. My lashes do not look good in this. Like, literally my drugstore Maybelline mascara is better than this. Oh my god, are you serious right now? Pilot, would you like to say anything to the camera? What do you have to say? Anything? No? Okay then. Okay, here's the set. Um, yeah, there's a little hole in it because, like I said, I fell off of a bike, but it's cute. At least I think so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna style it with some jewelry. Probably gonna throw on some hoops. Let's do that right now. Pie's literally eating him. You hear Pilot? He's barking at me. Okay, put some hoops on. And then we gotta put. I think I wanna wear my Apple Watch. Pie's. Pie, it's normally time for Pie to go out. And then I have these little bracelets. These are from. I don't know, my mom got them for me. I think they're from Nordstrom. She got them for Christmas. And then they have these little like bracelets from my friend Diana. She gave them to me for Christmas. I'm gonna wear that. Probably gonna put my class ring on. Go Gators. Go Gators. And then, do I need another necklace? Probably not. And then I'm probably gonna throw on shirt might put my oops might put my hair up because apparently it's hot out and look what he's doing what is that is that my slipper can I have it do you want to go outside you have to leave it though all right let's go let's get your leash on no you have to leave it leave it from 21 and probably going to wear my air maxes they're so comfortable all right here's the final fit literally super basic but that's all see y'all at the plant store <laughs>
Okay, I said we were going to the plant store, which we did at the domain. Um, and then oh, I returned the mascara and eyeliner at Sephora, but I did some damage at Aritzia, which wasn't supposed to happen. So I'll do a little try on haul. And we saw a lot of dogs at the domain, so now we feel bad. So we're gonna bring pie. I think we're gonna go to Lowe's, see if we can find a plant there because I didn't find the plant that I was looking for. Um, want to find it hanging macrame, which there's another plant store called Garden 17 here in Austin, which has the hanging macrames that I might go there and get it probably next weekend because we're already busy. But the plant store that we went to, I forgot what it was called, but their whole thing was like hard to kill plants. So those were like pothos, snake plants, succulents, which I always want, I want like a string type of plant. Or we have this pothos, which is getting pretty long. And maybe if I don't find what I'm looking for, I could just repot it and hang it. But I kind of like it here. So just want to find the string. But yeah, we're gonna go to Lowe's and we're gonna bring Pi and take him out the house. So we'll check back in later. Hey, Pa. I changed carts. Hello. Okay, we're back home from Lowe's and I found a plant hanger. It's only 20 bucks. For the, oh, the hook. Okay, well then Pi can go back to Lowe's with us for practice. Okay, got this. It's cute. And we forgot the hook, so, well, we don't have a plant yet anyway, so it's fine. And we got this rug tape because, let me show you this runner that we have in the kitchen. It has things there, but they suck. And this is our second time buying, or we've bought these before. This is like our second set of them and they just don't stay because yeah, we just, this is a high traffic area. So hopefully the rug tape will work better, right? So yep, this is what we got from Lowe's. These are great training bits. If you didn't know, you can bring your dog into Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, and we bring these and Pi gets some good training in. And we say no when people ask to pet him because he's training and he's a little unpredictable. And normally people who pet him will go above his head and Pi like doesn't like that. So I just am starting to say no now. But yeah, we're gonna cook dinner we're gonna have chicken and pasta and then probably head to bed. I have a 7.45 workout tomorrow morning. And then, like I mentioned, I'm going to get a manicure. Okay, we're not doing chicken tonight because it hasn't even been prepped. And it's 9.35 and I have to be up at seven tomorrow. So we're gonna eat pizza, even though that's kind of productive from my workout and we have sausage left over. So, gonna have that. Um, like I mentioned, I'm going to get a manicure tomorrow um, at Na from Nail Art House, which is a Russian manicure or Russian nail salon. And what they do is they have electric files and it's like, you have to be you have to have practice in doing it because they only use an electric file and it could be like dangerous and they don't use like the typical like um, cuticle cutters. So normally their manicures are about a hundred to 200 plus dollars and I'm going for 20 bucks, but I have to be there from 12 to five because I'm technically like their like model, which is basically the students that are practicing i'm basically like a practice model my nails or whatever so not really sure what that's going to entail tomorrow because i don't really know how you could do a manicure for five hours but we'll see hopefully i come back with a cute manicure my gel has pretty much grown out anyways but yeah 
that's my plan for tomorrow. And then probably gonna get drinks with my coworkers after that. And then Sunday, we're going to go for a hike and then I'm gonna go for a hike and then go play chicken shit bingo. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the weekend. Should be a busy weekend. Yeah. Bitcoin's energy for a transaction. Okay, raise your hand for just a minute if you believe that Elon Musk arguably Hi guys, so I'm going to film the rest of this try-on of what I got at Aritzia. So the first thing that I got is this white top. Super cute. Next thing I got is this little black tank top and this was actually from H&M. And I'll try everything on for you guys. And then I also got these cargo shorts, super cute. And I got a pair of jeans and a green top that I have to go grab for you guys. Okay, so this is um, another top that I got from Aritzia, just this cute little green tank. And here's the jeans that I got. They're from Levi's, they're just like straight leg. And um, I just washed them because I wore them out. But here's the back, I think they fit really cute. I feel like they are a little short, like I'm 5'1 and they're a little short, so I wore them with sandals, but I think like, because I just took them out the dryer, I think that they will shrink a bit. Okay, the next thing that I got from Aritzia are these cargo shorts. I thought they were so cute and like tomboy. And I think they will be really cute with some like sneakers, a uh, little backpack. And yeah, it will just look really cute with some gold jewelry. So definitely love these. I think these are my favorite purchase of this just to throw on. I mean, it even looks really cute with these cargo shorts. Um, and, or I could wear it with the black tank, super cute, with some jeans, fun shorts, definitely super easy. Okay, and I also got a few things from White Fox. Um, these are these little waffle shorts. I think they are all right. I think they're a little tight around my waist, but maybe with a big t-shirt um, and I won't wear it with a crop top that it will look a little more chill, but my thing with White Fox is that they're an Australian company and I wanted to do a return and I got to the post office and I realized like they weren't prepaid shipping labels. So I paid $30 to return something back, which I only got um, like a $40 store credit and the things that I returned were on sale. So then when I went to go buy them in my size, they were like more expensive than what my store credit was. So that was kind of annoying and I probably won't order from there again because I'm not able to try anything on even though they have really cute stuff. Like I'm not the biggest fan of these but I'm not gonna pay $30 to return them again. So these are all right. I have another black set that I got from them that I really like um, but I think these shorts are just, they're okay. They're not the most flattering but I guess they're good to throw on and like even if I wanted to throw these on just to like go run some errands or whatever, they are like pretty tight around my stomach that they're not the comfiest, but maybe with a big t-shirt and if I roll them up and like wear them lower and not around my stomach that they'll be cuter. And I have another top to show you guys. Okay, and then so the last top that I got from White Fox Boutique was this little green top um, and it just ties in the back like that and up there. And I'm definitely like not in love with it i wish i could return it because it um i don't know it just doesn't like maybe when my hair and makeup is done and maybe with a different pair of jeans but i think it's cute i definitely love the green 
love the color. I'm just not too crazy about the fit. I don't know what it is about it, but I think with my hair and makeup done, earrings, some necklaces, some jewelry, cute shoes, different pair of jeans, it could work. I definitely gonna wear it still. I think it's cute, but it, yeah, I can't return it. Like I said. So this is a bathing suit that I got. Um, this is from Monday Swim. I still have the tags on it, but I got a medium in the bottom, small on top, super cute. I had it in nude at first, but I returned it because I felt like it washed me out. So I definitely love the blue a lot better. And I have two more bikinis to show you. Okay, and here's another bikini that I got from White Fox Boutique. Definitely, I still have my underwear on underneath, but uh, definitely super cheeky. The back is pretty cheeky. And then I have this in um, a hot pink color. Okay, and this is the hot pink one. I'm not gonna try it on, but, cause it's literally the same top. And then the bottoms on these are a little bit different. They are, um, these are the tie ones and they have ruching on the back. Another thing that I got recently is this purse. It was on sale, it was final sale. I thought it was super cute and it would be good for summer. My only critique is that it's really small and I have a huge phone, so my phone doesn't really fit in here, but it's cute. This was from, this is from LF, but it's from House of Want. So yeah, super cute. And then the final thing I got from Five and Below is this tie-dye bucket hat. Isn't it so cute? And with just like my hot pink bikini or even this one, I mean, or the solid blue one. But yeah, that's it.